members of Arsenal's first team squad have reportedly been left deeply upset that the club have announced plans to make 55 members of non-playing staff redundant next month due to the coronavirus crisis. The Gunners won the FA Cup last weekend to secure Europa League qualification but despite the added financial boost of European football, insist that cost-cutting is still necessary if they are to continue strengthening Mikel Arteta's team. Yet with the bulk of Spanish coaches players having agreed a 12-month 12.5% pay cut, in addition to salary decreases taken by the coaching staff and club executives, they are said to be disappointed that the North London outfit's hierarchy have chosen to cut jobs. The Daily Mirror say that the squad agreed to give up part of their wages for the next year, on the understanding that the employment of club staff would be protected. But as shown by Arsenal's statement, their hierarchy feel circumstances have changed despite a return to playing matches. It remains to be seen whether the players will look to intervene, given the wages expected to be saved, which will amount to around £3 million if the members of staff are paid on average £50,000 a year, are a tiny fraction of the club's £240 million wage bill, or whether the fierce backlash prompts a rethink from the club's hierarchy. The Londoner's head of international scout in Francis K. Jigao, who helped bring Cesc Fabregas, Hector Bellerin and Gabriel Martinelli, is reportedly one of the 55 set to be axed, as is recruitment specialist Brian McDermott and head of UK scouting Peter Clark. The decision is controversial because it comes as part of Arsenal's plans to add fresh talent to Arteta's squad in the summer transfer window and as they also seek to hand a wage increase to Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang with a three-year £250,000 a week deal proposed. The club hope that the job losses will be countered by an improvement in fortunes on the pitch if they sign new players. With Arsenal having felt the impact of a lack of Champions League football in the last four years, they will hope Arteta can steer them to a top four finish next season, at which point their cash reserves will receive a significant boost which could then allow them to look into re-expanding their staff. But they have still received widespread criticism for wanting to sign the likes of Willian, who could earn £150,000 a week and might not be a guaranteed starter, while cutting costs in other departments. Arsenal's statement, from head of football Raul Sanley and managing director Vinay Venkat read, Our main sources of income have all reduced significantly. Revenue from broadcasters match day and commercial activities have all been hit severely and these impacts will continue into at least the forthcoming 2020-21 season. The pandemic represents one of the most challenging periods in our 134-year history and we have responded promptly by implementing wide-ranging measures to reduce our costs. Our players, senior football staff and executive team have volunteered pay cuts, we have stopped pretty much all of our capital spending, and our discretionary operations rating expenditure has been strictly controlled. We have also received significant financial support from our owners, Kroenke, Sports and Entertainment in terms of refinancing our stadium debt. These steps have all reduced the impact of the pandemic on the club and have helped us continue to maintain investment in the team. This will continue to be a key priority. It is now clear that we will be facing more significant and longer-lasting reductions in our revenue than we all hoped. Current indications are that we will not have fans back at Emirates Stadium for the start of next season and fans will only be able to return in limited numbers after that. The global economic projections are also very negative. This will impact the disposable income of our fans, the money corporate clients have to spend on hospitality and sponsorship, and the ability for broadcasters to invest in TV rights. We all hope there will be no second wave but we also need to accept that is one of the many uncertainties ahead of us and plan accordingly. Over recent years we have consistently invested in additional staff to take the club forward but with the expected reduction of income in mind, it is now clear that we must reduce our costs further to ensure we are operating in a sustainable and responsible way, and to enable us to continue to invest in the team. Our aim has been to protect the jobs and base salaries of our people for as long as we possibly can.
Unfortunately, we have now come to the point where we are proposing 55 redundancies. We do not make these proposals lightly and have looked at every aspect of the club and our expenditure before reaching this point. We are now entering the required 30-day consultation period on these proposals. We know this is upsetting and difficult for our dedicated staff and our focus is on managing this as sensitively as possible. These proposed changes are ultimately about ensuring we take this great football club forward, creating the right organization for a post-COVID world, and ensuring we have the resources to return to competing effectively at the top of the game here and in Europe.